The Design Council helps organisations to use design to improve societal issues, overcome economic growth challenges and also improve the quality of our built environment. As an advisor to government, we've worked in the public sector for more than 70 years. In the last 10 years alone, we've been working even more intensively with local authorities to help them use design as a process for change. So that could be a service that needs to be redesigned, a service that needs to be recommissioned, or actually a new policy that, that local authorities need to examine. BLJ is the national voice for local governments. We exist to promote, improve and support councils across the country. The Design in the Public Sector programme is part of a suite of innovation activities that we run for councils. We want to promote innovation in local public services and we encourage councils to do so through our support and our funding and our partnerships with organisations such as the Design Council. Teams that are selected to go on to the Design in the Public Sector programme can expect to find it's a very structured and accelerated process packaged into five one-day workshops. We're asking teams to put themselves forward, usually teams of about four to five people maximum. They'll be coming together with up to eight other teams to go through those workshops. And during the course of a 16 week process, they will be introduced very carefully to the design process and a specific set of design methods. For this year's Design in the Public Sector programme, we've chosen Public Health Services. This is a service that councils are responsible for and we want to encourage councils to have some time and some space and some fresh thinking around the challenges in this service area. It's a really good opportunity for councils to meet with other like-minded councils who also run these services and to exchange ideas and obviously learn from the skills and techniques from the Design Council and their design coaches. The initial way that we use what we've learned is to take a step back from the idea of it being a project with defined deliverables and a defined scope and go into like a discovery phase where we acknowledge that we don't know everything that we thought we knew. I think it gives you time and space to step out of doing the operational day job and to really think differently about how to approach the services that we are providing for people in the public sector. I think quite often we just kind of steam ahead with an idea that we've, we've got from somewhere without really testing whether it works or not. So I think it just makes you think a lot deeper into what you're doing and why. In, in terms of some of the, the benefits from the course, if you like, there are spin-off benefits, not just from looking at the challenge we have, but actually the tools and techniques that we learned, even on, from day one, uh, we use straight away. The tools that we have used, for example, are like journey mapping, journaling, observations. So this has given us some really good user insight into how we might look at our problem differently. The difference has been huge. The impact of the programme has been, I'd, I'd say, immeasurable. Maybe not quite immeasurable because we can't measure it. We can see the outputs um, kind of daily. It allowed me to feel really comfortable just being with people and just watching. It allowed me to open my eyes to things that even though I'm in the kind of voluntary sector and I think I kind of know everything about engagement, actually we all have a very tunnel vision sometimes because that's our job. It allowed me to actually open up my eyes and, and use my ears more. In the last three years, we've worked with the LGA to support more than 30 local authorities tackle some immediate service challenges. And within that, we've enabled more than 150 individuals to use design more confidently. And today, those individuals are using design more regularly within their organisation as a result of that. The LGA is really excited about this partnership with the Design Council and we encourage Council to apply to the Design in the Public Sector programme to help you with some fresh thinking and some new skills around your public health challenges.